What's going on beautiful people? Today we're going to take our unsupported 6700K test bench that we've been using for all of our little Windows 11 experiments and we're going to use Chris Titus Tech's PowerShell script that will allow us to create MicroWin which is an ISO that is stripped down from all of the Windows 11 bloat and telemetry and we can do a clean install with that and not have to worry about all the bloat. Once we get the stripped down micro win ISO we're going to use Rufus to put that on everybody's favorite speedy flash drive. <laughs> I can't get enough of this thing. Alright so without further ado let me show you how this works. I'm just going to open Edge here. And we'll go to Google. And I'm just going to search for Chris Titus Windows Utility. And it's hosted on GitHub right here. Let's click on that. Scroll down to um, release. So release 25.03.05 today. It's real simple. We're just going to download this winutil.ps1. Let's click it and it'll download. I'm going to say keep because Edge is afraid of PowerShell. So now that we've downloaded the script, I'm going to hit my little start menu. I'm going to type in PowerShell. And make sure you're clicked on this one here. And we're going to say run as administrator. And we have to say uh, yes. Let me go ahead and make the font bigger so we can see better. Now we need to run this command once and it's a good idea to set this back to the default once we're done but if you know what you're doing don't worry about it. So we're going to say set hyphen execution policy space and then unrestricted just like that. And when you hit it PowerShell says hey are you sure you want to do that because this is supposed to protect you from scripts you don't trust I'm just gonna hit a because I know what I'm doing or at least I think I do and we're gonna move on to running the script so the script is gonna live in our downloads folder of my Trav user that I made so we need to go there okay and I'm just gonna do dir and there it is, along with our Hirons ISO that we downloaded a few weeks back when I did that video. So now I'm just going to do dot backslash win util. Okay, and it's going to say, what do you want to do? I'll say run once. And this utility is actually great for existing Windows 11 installations. And you can uh, turn off a lot of gobbledygook and such. Okay, and it's going to run uh, the script and then pop up a GUI. Okay, and here's the GUI. The cool thing about it is you can look back here and it'll show you what the GUI is actually doing once you choose some options. I'm not going to get into cleaning up an existing Windows 11 installation in this video. If you're interested, let me know in a comment below and I'll do one specifically for that. I've used it and this seems uh, all pretty legit stuff. Um, also, everything's open source, and I looked at a lot of what this does, and it's just changing registry keys, which is something that I myself uh, do from time to time. So I really don't think that this script is anything to worry about. That being said, there's always a chance it might get some malware in it at some point, but I've been playing with it this week and saw no evidence of that. So we need to tell it what ISO we want to use for our micro win. So I'm going to click on get newest ISO and we're just going to do 24H2 and the system language is going to be English. We'll say get Windows ISO and um, I'm going to say OK because it's going to have to go download um, this uh, OSCD IMG um, file. 
It's an ISO maker on GitHub that Microsoft itself makes. But we're going to put this in downloads. We'll just keep everything in there for simplicity's sake. You can see that OSCD IMG was successfully downloaded. And now this thing's going to download this ISO. We got a pretty good connection, but it's not instantaneous, so I'll skip to when this gets done downloading. Okay, so the ISO has been downloaded. Now it's going to mount it and go through the process of making the MicroWin ISO. And you just got to be patient. And you can watch down here all of the little messages that are going to scroll across. I'll move this out of the way a little bit. Uh oh. Okay, it's best not to mess with the GUI because you'll end up with this kind of thing here. It happened to me a couple times yesterday. But this is running some uh, .NET GUI stuff. I'm going to say wait for the program to respond. Okay, so now we've got the ISO, it mounted it, and all that good Abby stuff. I'm not injecting any drivers because we don't need to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my username that I want to use as soon as this installs. Uh, Trev, and I'm just going to leave the password uh, blank. And let's say start the process. And we have to tell it where we want to put MicroWin. So to help make the comparison of sizes easier between the stock Windows 11 ISO and MicroWin, I'm going to stick it right here. <clears throat> and this is going to take a little while because it's going to take this mounted image and it's going to pull out a bunch of stuff. So just give it a sec. You can see right here what it is removing all of the horrible Windows 11 default apps like the media player. <laughs> I really don't like the media player. I always replace it with media player classic black edition or VLC or usually I have both installed. And here comes MicroWin being exported to the downloads folder where I told it to go and there we go it's done it tells me where the ISO went exactly where I told it to so I'll click OK and we can just minimize uh, actually I'll go ahead and close since there's no minimize button and we'll minimize PowerShell here let's go into the downloads folder so you can see here that MicroWin is about 600 megs lighter, which is a result of a lot of that stuff that got removed. And a lot of that is those background apps that you don't really want anyway. So even the install itself is a little faster. So now it's time to go get Rufus. So let's just download Rufus. I don't have to use any of the Rufus tweaks. We're simply going to write a bog standard Windows image with Rufus. Okay, go ahead and close that. Here's Rufus. Let's fire Rufus up. No, I don't want to do any kind of updates. All right, let's pick an ISO here. Well, first, let's put in the flash drive. Everybody's favorite. I can't help myself. Ha ha. Fast flash drive. And I should have put that in before I fired up Rufus. Let's try that again. So there's Rufus. Let's fire him up. I have to tell it to show USB hard drives because technically uh, this enclosure is a hard drive and not a flash drive. Let me go pick a um, the ISO for MicroWin. Now at this point I am not going to do any of these 
uh, Rufus tweaks. We don't need to. We're, we're going to do a straight up Rufus copy over that makes this flash drive bootable. And that was in real time, ladies and gents. So I'm gonna close Rufus, close this, and then we're gonna reboot. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, right click here. And when I hit restart, I'm gonna hold shift. This is just gonna let me easily pick this flash drive over booting from this Windows 11 installation. And like I said, if you don't want to totally reinstall whatever Windows 11 you got going on, if you run a lot of those scripts from Windows Utility, uh, you'll achieve a lot of the same results, okay? So you don't have to do a fresh install. I'm just showing you that a fresh install is nice. Okay, we get our boot menu because we were holding shift when we hit restart. Choose use a device, and I'm going to pick the first option for UEFIOS. I know that that's going to get us booted into the micro win on the fast flash drive. And you would never know this isn't a normal Windows 11 installation. So we're just going to go next. And then check your box for delete everything, install Windows 11. And we can put in a product key. I don't have one. It's already registered with that motherboard. But it's an important point that MicroWin has nothing to do with piracy and doesn't affect activations or anything like that at all. So then we accept the terms of the license agreement. Now we just need to delete all the partitions on uh, disk zero. Don't get overly excited and delete them from disk one because that is the flash drive containing this installation. When you've got them all deleted, you're gonna click on the unallocated space and just do next. Next or install. And there's nothing unusual about this. This looks exactly like a normal Windows 11 install from this point. I'll come back as soon as this is done or it's to another point. All right, after about six minutes and three reboots, here we are. You saw my Trav user that was created inside of the MicroWin ISO pop up. And so now we wait just a little bit again for that to get done with the initial first boot of the Trav user. Won't take long. And boom, there we are. And if you look at that start menu, it's empty because all of that gobbledygook is uh, gone. The stuff you saw pop up in the back there was simply some bug fixes that the MicroWin team added. And if we go to the start menu and click on all apps, you'll see there's almost nothing. That's it. So it's very stripped down, just the bare bones. And you can add back any of those Microsoft apps that it would normally put. Take note that Windows Defender is installed. 
and works. The graphics driver just installed itself. So it went out and got the most up-to-date um, graphics. Let's fire up the task manager here and check out uh, the amount of memory being used. We're only using 2.6 gigs of memory. And the CPU usage is almost non-existent. So you can see this is very efficient. Um, off camera in some virtual machines I compared a bog standard Windows 11 installation to this micro win installation and the CPU spikes were so much higher for the regular Windows installation and the amount of RAM used was anywhere from 3.4 gigabytes up to 3.7 just on a cold boot. And this is after I had restarted several times and let it install updates and stuff. So I know that MicroWin is much more efficient. So now let's run Windows Update because people always want to know if that's going to work. So I'll check for updates. And it'll find three or four, I think. Well, actually, that's a lot more than I expected. But see how they installed. The only reason that I'm going to have to click retry here is because some of this other stuff was installing at the exact same time and it made it mad. So this stuff will download just fine. I've done it on two other VMs and one actual machine with MicroWin just to see if this would work. And it does install the cumulative update with no problems. Whether or not you're comfortable using third party tools, that's entirely up to you. But for me personally, the next new rig I set up, I am going to use MicroWin instead of the bog standard Windows 11 installation ISO. But the choice is ultimately up to you. If you like this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. And you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next video.